Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris, coming to you from the 2014 March for Life in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, we brought you news from here at the March that we'd conducted our own on-the-ground poll of this year's marchers and asked them questions about contraception and homosexuality. The findings are disturbing, and while this wasn't scientific, it does align with a number of other polls which have produced very similar results. We spent the afternoon asking random marchers at two different unrelated locations if they thought using birth control was sometimes acceptable. As we reported in yesterday's Vortex, almost one-third responded yes. One-third of these marchers, mostly young people, view contraception as acceptable. Today, how they answered the question, is it okay for two guys to be in a romantic relationship where romantic means physical? Do you think it is okay for two guys to be in a romantic relationship? Um, I do because I feel that they have the right just as much as I do to marry anyone that they choose. And so I feel that it's okay. Yeah, if it's, if it's legal and if they want to do it, then it's fine with me. Um, in some contexts and scenarios, yes, and in some contexts, no. So sometimes? Yes. It depends. Mm -hmm. On what? Um, on their faith and where they are with their relationship with God. Do you think it's okay for two guys to be in a romantic relationship? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't always believe that, that it's okay, but if they're happy, then there's nothing I can do to separate it just because I shouldn't ruin el someone else's happiness. Um, I don't know, kind of. But at the same time, I think they're kind of born with being that way, so I think it's okay. Do you think it's okay for two guys to be in a romantic relationship? Um. Do you think it's okay for two guys to be in a romantic relationship? So in a romantic relationship, as in boyfriends, then perhaps, but not in a relationship that means that they're married to each other. Yes, I do. Uh, it's on, uh, it just should not be called marriage or matrimony. Can I, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I personally think that it's okay. I don't agree with it, but I mean, as long as I tolerate it. So you don't agree with it, but you tolerate it yeah. and think it's okay. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> when it was all said and done, 20%, one in five said for them, gay is okay. What is astounding in all of this is that you have to remember these marches and these marchers are billed by the pro-life movement as the premier event, the showcase for the future of the nation, the great hope for the coming decades. Hands down, they are mostly Catholic. Nine out of every ten we interviewed was Catholic. And on the question of contraception, almost a third see no connection between abortion and contraception. And on the issue of active homosexuality, 20% have not drawn the connection between abortion and the destruction of traditional marriage. Various clergy speak of this march in glowing terms and in terms of direct opposition to specifically abortion. It is that. But as a portent for the future, either this crowd of a half million needs to be instructed much more carefully back in their home diocese or expectations should be lowered dramatically for what lays ahead in the future. Reporting to you from the March for Life 2014, I'm Michael Voris. God love you. Contraception. 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 Do you use it? Do you use it? How pro-life are you? Do you use it? How pro-life are you? Condoms. The pill. The patch. The ring. Have you used them? How pro-life are you? The shot. IUD. Diaphragm. Vasectomy. How pro-life are you? 
Emergency contraception. Emergency contraception. Emergency contraception. Do you use it? The morning after pill. Plan B one step. Are you 486? Have you used them? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? In 1930. In 1930. 1930. In 1930, at the Lambeth Conference, after 20 years of intense pressure from international movers and shakers like the Rockefellers, the Church of England, the Anglicans, reversed nearly 2,000 years of Christian teaching on marriage and family and approved contraception. And approved contraception. Approved contraception. And approved contraception. The results. The results. The results. The results. The results are destroyed families, destroyed marriages, adultery, the objectification of women, pornography addiction, and most importantly of all, abortions by the tens of millions. Tens of millions of babies murdered in the womb. Tens of millions of babies murdered in the womb. Murdered. 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 Millions of children murdered in the womb. All the result of contraception. All the results of contraception. All the result of contraception. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How many souls? How many souls? How many souls? How many souls have been damned for all eternity because of contraception? Every Planned Parenthood every drop of blood at the abortion chambers, every pro-choice sign, every March for Life, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it can trace its roots to the diabolical evil of contraception. Stop this. Stop this. Immediately. Immediately. Stop this. We must stop this. We must stop this. We must stop this. Immediately. Immediately. Immediately following the 1930 Lambeth Conference, which allowed contraception, Pope Pius XI responded with his encyclical Costi Canubi, restating the Catholic Church's long-standing teaching on the sanctity of the Marriage Act and condemning contraception. Nearly 40 years later, in 1968, Pope Paul VI again condemned contraception in his encyclical Humanae Vitae. Are you pro-birth or are you pro-life? Pro-birth, pro-life, there is a difference. There is a difference. There is a difference. There's a difference. There is a difference. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? 90%. 90%. 90%. 90% of all Christians have used a form of contraception. How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? How pro-life are we? I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought Christians were pro-life. How pro-life are are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? A 2003 Guttmacher Institute study revealed that an increase in contraceptive use had direct correlation to the increase in the number of abortions. They studied multiple countries, including the United States, Denmark, Singapore, and South Korea. Is abortion just the backup plan when contraception fails? It's a fair question. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. It's a fair question. How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? How pro-life are you? It's no surprise that the evil of contraception has poisoned nearly all of Christianity. The protection of the Holy Spirit was granted to only one church. One church. One church. One church. The only church Jesus Christ built. The church built upon the rock of St. Peter, the Holy Catholic Church. If you stand against abortion, you must. You must. You must. You must stand against contraception. The Holy Catholic Church was in the beginning, is now, and shall ever be pro-life. Are you?